Afternoon, folks. Welcome to the very first edition of the Sunday Politics. The old trot, hard left political elements spoiling for a fight. I thought you were an old trot at one stage. Uh, no. <laughs> Afternoon, Prime Minister. Hi, Adam, how, how are you doing? Enjoy. Good to see I'm you. I'm gathering around on the road all day today. I'm doing a 24 hour dash. Got any Very tips good. for how to survive um, that? Haribos, that would be my tip. <laughs> Very handy. Buttons not working. Oh, yeah, there it We've is. We've got one. You see yourself as Theresa May's Willie? I, I, I was a huge admirer of uh, Willie Whitelaw in my youth, uh, and absolutely I would be uh, very content to have him as a role model. You want to control the BBC schedules as well if you're in government so that we broadcast educational programmes in prime time. Does the Sunday Politics count as an educational programme for prime time? I think I'll leave the viewers to decide that for themselves. Because right. if you'd said yes, you'd have had our vote. <laughs> Natalie Bennett, thanks for... So there's Krabby, he's jumping up and down. Krabby's jumping. And then... And I couldn't let Jeremy go without introducing him to the craze sweeping the nation, Pokemon Go. He didn't seem that bothered, but then he's playing a much bigger game. And now the weather for all areas of the British Isles, but definitely not Bongo Bongo Land. You may have heard about a storm in a teacup that developed when a UKIP town councillor in Oxfordshire was suspended by my party after he blamed the floods on David Cameron's gay marriage bill. When it came up that their favourite uh, to succeed Ed Miliband was Yvette Cooper, why did you go, no? That's a lie. I went... <laughs> <laughs> you think she may have been being duplicitous? I think that's a harsh word, and a harsher one than I would choose to use. What word would you use? Political. <laughs> Your party's called the Liberal Democrats. Many people watching this will think maybe it's time for a rebrand. Just drop the Democrat bit. Now, you used to put in your who's who entry that your hobby was fomenting the overthrow yes. of capitalism. And everyone thinks I misspelt that. It wasn't. It was a joke on brewing, but never mind. <laughs> is it now your job, the overthrow of capitalism, Transform other than your yes, hobby? Yes, it is. It's transforming our economy. Is this a genuine candidacy? Or are you yeah. just twisting my melon? <laughs> Good morning, Andrew. Good morning. Good afternoon now. Uh, oh, it's the afternoon <laughs> already. It's amazing how time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> so watch a bit of telly. Yeah. What do you think when you see that? That's what I was expecting. Uh, really? Yeah. The interesting thing about this is that this has demonstrated Jeremy Corbyn is where exactly where the country is. I accept the result was, was to get out of Europe, yep, that's, that's clear. You could collapse the government uh, by doing We that. could collapse the government, and, 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 and I can assure you, I wake up at 2 a.m. in a cold sweat. For me, it's the conspiracy Her theories passengers. like this oh, I believed, I believed in... Hey, what, listen, what? I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. Infowars.com. Uh, half Liberty past 11. You're watching the Liberty Sunday politics. We have an idiot freedom on the program today. Stop. Coming you will not up stop in just freedom. 20 minutes. You will not stop the republic. Humanity is awakening. Infowars.com. No, you guys are crazy. I'll be looking at the, the week ahead with our political decision. panel. You're Until crazy. then, the Think Sunday the politics across the You're UK. Crazy. Think of the public is waking up.